Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm the Northern Australian Territory Manager for Raymo. Raymo is a fully electric remote control slope mower. Raymo have brought out an array of decks, all with their own purposeful application. The 42 inch flex deck here is used for most of our graveyard work, being able to get into tight small places, as well as parks being able to get on the benches. The 48 inch rough cut deck, that purpose is mainly for the roadside and the, the tougher mowing. It's great at clearing, uh, it's more of a vegetation clearing mower. Um, it can do thick grass that has been untouched for very long times. The applications in which we're seeing the 48 inch craft deck being used in is your roadside work and your council work as well. Uh, for managing those clear and hard to get to places. Um, 48 inch rough cut deck uh, is more of a vegetation management deck uh, versus a finishing deck which would be 52 inch. Uh, the decks are quite easy to change with in between which will show you how to switch over the deck. So when the 52 inch turf deck doesn't have the power or the cutting abilities to get through some of the thicker stuff that we're seeing here, uh, it's time to switch out for the R48 Craft Rough Cut Deck. The R48 Craft Rough Cut Deck is my next best choice. It's really simple and easy to switch over these decks. I'm gonna show you how I do that now. I'm also gonna show you a quick way to maintain your blades, um, which requires no jacks, no lifts, makes it very nice and easy. So, we've got two pins here, which we have to remove to switch over the deck anyway. Simply pull them out. They're done. We'll put them to the side here. Now what this gives you access to is being able to lift up the deck. Now you'll also see you've got these springs here. We will remove them to switch over the deck, but if we hook them onto a shorter link on both sides to make sure it's got the stability, what you'll have is full access to all of your torque specs, all of your blades to make sure that you can service and maintain the deck um, with ease. So we're going to continue on with switching over the decks. Push it up, remove those springs you put so it was in the service position. Then we're going to lower the deck back down. Once you've done this, you've got two more clips which hold it onto the main frame of the torpedo. Pull them out. Now we just have to remove the electronics. Push the emergency stop for this one. You've got two little twist knobs here. And then just like the battery, you've got two cables. You've got your CAN bus cable, which is just a simple twist. And then you've got your Anderson plug, which supplies power to the deck. Remove the box. That's your control unit for the deck. Once you've got that out, undo the emergency stop. Now that the torpedo is operational again, we're now ready to take it out of the current deck and thread the needle, as I say, and get it into the new deck. Simple as that. Now that we're ready to put the electronics back in, emergency stop again, take off the controller, place it to the side, get your electronics, swing that over. There's four little connecting dots here that go into rubber grommets. Place them in. Get our CAN bus cable, plug that one in as well. Twist it on. So now we're ready to supply power. And some plug, much like you see on your cars and your caravans. Just a simple push in. Now we've got all of our electronics done. Simply swing up the cover plate, find your locating holes, and twist them in. Perfect. Now we're ready to attach to the deck. With the 48 inch craft rough cut, we've got two different pins. Main pin here to adjust and hold the deck to the Raymo Torpedo B. Just gotta find the right sweet spot there. That pushes through, button releases. We'll do that on both sides. Once again, just adjusting the deck a little bit just to make sure it gets into the hole. Now that one's in. 
Now that we've got the deck attached, uh, now we need to attach the springs. Much like last time, lift up the deck. Now that we've got that slack, we can hook on those springs. Lower the deck down. Now, much like we did at the front, at the start of this video, we've now got to adjust the height. We opted for 80 mil, just because it's, we don't want to go too low with the uh, thread that we're going to be cutting. So, three holes down, same as what we did on the front. Push the pins in, lock it in. The emergency stop. Attach the controller to your waist. And we're ready to go cutting.